has approved 11 projects involving 8,053 crore. High Court granted six month bail to Carlos Dia in two defamation cases. The High Court directed the authorities concerned to withdraw spied medicine from markets. Assalamu alaikum, welcome to my TV news and fair news within the newsroom. Today we're writing headlines. Now the details. ICNIC has approved 11 projects involving Taka 8053 crore. The approval came from the weekly ICNIC meeting held at the NSC conference room in the capital Sher Bangla Nagar area with the ICNIC chairperson and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina in the chair on Tuesday. Planning Minister M. A. Manan briefed reporters about the details after the meeting. Of the total cost, Taka 3,389 crore will come from the state exchequer, Taka 551 crore from organization fund and Taka 4,113 crore from project assistance. The High Court granted six-month bail to BNP chairperson Carlos Zia in two defamation cases filed against her in 2014 and 2016. The bench of Justice Muhammad Abdul Hafiz and Justice Ahmed Suel passed the award earlier on Monday. The country concluded hearing the petition and said today for delivering its order. The cases were filed against Khalda in 2014 and 2017 for making derogatory and commands hurting the religious sentiments of Muslims and for his remarks on Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman. The trial proceedings have been going on at Dhaka Metropolitan Magistrate Court. The High Court directed the authorities concerned to withdraw expired medicine from market. The court bench of Justice FRM Nazrul Hassan and Justice KM Kamrul Khader passed the water on Tuesday. Deputy Attorney General ABM Abdullah Al Mahmoud Bashar moved for the state during hearing. Early on Monday, a writ petition was filed with the High Court seeking its directive to stop selling expired medicine and to withdraw those from shops. On June, Deputy Director of the Directorate of National Consumer Rights Protection, Manzur Mohammed. Sharia said that the 93% of the pharmacies in the capital selling expired medicines. Police headquarters have formed a committee to probe into a bribery allegation against the Deputy Inspector General Mizanur Rahman. Meanwhile, Home Minister Asadu Chiaman Khan Kamal said that according to the law, action will be taken against him. He said this at a signing ceremony of the annual work contract with the Department of Protection and the organization at the Secretariat. The Home Minister also said that the law and enforcers are not involved of the case of former Home Minister Sohal Taz Nifu. The fifth and final phase of the Pojela Porishad election has ended in 23 Pojelas in different districts. The balloting began at 9 a.m. Tuesday and continued till 5 p.m. without any break. Election Commission has declared a general holiday in the election area of 22 Pojela. The law enforcer have been deployed. Extra BGPs have been deployed in risky area. Earlier election to 463 Pojela Porishad out of the country and 491 were held in the first four phases held on March 10, 18, 24 and 31st respectively. Two teenager boys were found dead at the Jut filed near to Isapur village on Dhamoriyaha to Pojela on Tuesday. The deceased were identified as Jakir Hosan and Imon. Officer in charge of Dhamoriyaha police station say that the part that farmers spotted the bodies lying on the field in the morning and informed police later a team of police rushed in and recovered the bodies. Thanks for being with us. To share with my TV news online, visit www.youtube.com slash news. To watch all our programs on YouTube, visit youtube.com slash mytvbangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Stay connected. Allah Hafiz.